In a city in central Russia, a new generation are marching to a 19th century beat. Their uniforms are exact replicas from 1845. That's when the Baronish Cadet Corps was founded, and that's what the community is trying to revive. It's a school to raise boys to be officers and gentlemen. The teacher's aim is to recreate the rituals and attitudes of pre-revolutionary Russia before the communists overthrew the Tsar and the Cadet Corps. Dennis has been with the school since it reopened five years ago. Next year, he'll be one of its first graduates. My predki, my dad, pradid, served in the army, were in the army. I also decided to become a военный. Ну и как начало моего пути, я решил поступить в кадетский корпус. Dennis's first class of the day isn't maths or science, but something just as important to the school curriculum. Ballroom dancing. Recreating what the communists destroyed will be a massive task. Even the church where the old cadet corps worshipped was taken over by the state. It was used as a factory for Christmas decorations. While the community is rebuilding the church, the school is trying to rebuild the faith. Though it's one lesson where some boys struggle for inspiration. Voronezh is a typical depressed Russian city. The state has no money for building new schools. All it provided for the cadet corps was some dilapidated old buildings. Everything else is paid for by the boys' families. But this is not a private school for Russia's new rich. Yevgeny is an orphan who lives with his grandfather. It's a struggle to find $60 a month to pay for his fees, but Georgi Stepanovich has no doubt it's worth it. Yevgeny, like most boys at the school, says he wants to be a soldier. The boys appear extraordinarily well behaved, and perhaps it's because they want to be. Their classroom is an oasis of order and certainty in a very uncertain society. Is the sky clouded or cloudless? Dikunov. The sky is cloudless. The school teaches the boys to respect authority and serve their country. I asked the director, Alexander Golomidov, if there was a risk he could be producing fanatical nationalists. Вы знаете, опять же, возвращаясь к истории старой русской армии, нельзя сказать, потому что в ее рядах служило очень много и других национальностей. Россия это вообще много национальной страна, если вы знаете. But the army the boys would enter is not the idealized army on which the cadet corps is modeled. Most of today's soldiers are unpaid, badly fed and brutalized. They're led by an officer corps that is riddled with corruption. But Dennis hopes he and his friends can make a difference. His father, grandfather and great-grandfather were all officers. He believes the further he looks back into the past, 
the clearer the future becomes. In the beginning of this century, uh, uh, Russia was one of the greatest countries. Uh, and I think uh, with the help of tradition, uh, it, uh, it, will be the, it will be the greatest country in the world. As Russia approaches the 21st century, hope is a rare commodity. It may prove the most valuable gift a school could give.